Hello, this is Mike Kroger, Finale Inventory. In this uh, short video, we're going to talk about how to add an automated outbound FTP connection to uh, export data uh, exports or reports to your FTP server. So we need to do that by adding an FTP connection. So we'll demonstrate that here on the demo account. We're going to go to the connection page. So we have a link up here at the top to connections, and there's also a quick link for connections. So let's take a look. We're going to go to the connection page, and you're going to see all these buttons here where you can add your e-commerce connections for pushing stock levels and such. But scroll all the way down to the bottom, and you're going to see um, the FTP server connection. So this is where we can add that connection to your account. So click on the Add FTP Server Connection, and it will come up with the connection um, edit screen. So here we give it a connection name. So it's uh, you can have, of course, more than one FTP server you're connecting to. So you may want to rename this connection to a specific FTP server if you'd like. Um, but I'm just going to leave this for, for example, just call it FTP Server. So just simply fill in your host name either your DNS name or your IP address and uh, go ahead and, and pick the correct uh, protocol if you need to. Put your username and password and you can test the connection. Then what you need to do is once you've added your server connection inf information, you need to add the report task. This will be where you choose to get the data which is coming from a finale report. Okay, so we're going to add the report task to this connection. Now once you add a report task, you can add a secondary report task. Each of the report tasks represent a different report or different data extract from finale. So to actually establish what data you want to export, you need to already have created a custom report or you can use a built-in report from Finale. And it's the reports are coming from the report screen over here. So if you look at the report tab, you'll see all the reports on that screen and you'll be able to choose one of those reports to use. So I'm going to edit this report connection here. And this is where you set when does it run and how often. You can give the report that you're exporting a label so you know which, what you're actually doing. So I'm going to call this um, export uh, stock levels. Okay, and then this is where you choose which report from the reports page that you wish to run. So I'm just going to click on the list here and you'll see all the reports that are listed on the report screen. So I'm going to look for the stock report. So I'm going to export the stock for each product in units right here. And then I get to pick the format. If I'm going to use this uh, with maybe some other uh, website, you may export it in JSON if you've got a, a programmer and he's written some routines to actually read this data. Or you would choose to maybe go out in, in, in a CSV format. So I'm going to export the stock levels in a CSV format. And if you need to specify a specific path on the FTP server that's not in the root when it logs in. You can specify that information here. So for the when the task runs, this is your options. You can choose to make it a manual triggered task, which means you're going to have to come to the connection page and actually trigger it yourself. Or you can schedule it from midnight or at 6 p.m. or at noon or 6 a.m. or you can make it run more often during the day. So for this instance, I'll just pick, hey, run it at noon, and that's all we need to do. So once you save the connection, then go back to the connection page here at the top, and you'll be able to see you've got an FTP server connection, and then this one is a task underneath it. So you have export stock levels, and it's set for noon. And you'll see that you can either change the parameters about this particular export, you can make it run immediately now, but you also can add another report. So if you wanted to add another report or another extract to be FTP'd to this exactly same to this exact same server, you can just go to the actions menu and edit the connection. 
then you would just simply add another report. So if we wanted to add another report for data extract, you add it, then you can simply edit that report, figure out what you want to call it, and then you can make it run on a particular schedule. So that's what you need to do. So if we added another report here, I could say maybe export sales shipments. Okay, and then I could pick that report as well. So if I look for the maybe the sales ship by product, I could choose that report and then I could make that go out to a CSV as well. And then I could save that. Now, of course, this one we haven't triggered as when it runs, but maybe I want to run this one um, every night at 6 p.m. So I can make this one run differently and it's going with the same connection. So now you'll see that we have export stock levels and export sales shipments. They run in two different schedules, but they're both going to this one FTP server. That's it.